Well, Simon, thanks for inviting the Exeter Chiefs along to Paint and Zoo today. Tell us a bit about Paint and Zoo and how it's come about over the many years and that. OK. Um, we are 90 years old this year. Uh, our founder was Herbert Whitley, as many people know, and you know he inherited a lot of money when he was young, developed the zoo, opened it in the 1920s and 1923, and the rest, as they say, is history. You know, we've been developing a lot. We, we developed certainly during the 1990s, particularly. We did a huge amount of redevelopment here. We managed to carry it on until a couple of years ago. So, you know, the zoo now is very different from what Herbert invented. And I like to think we are a, 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 a local, you know, institution, and very we're proud of our history and we're proud of our heritage. And we like to make links with other local institutions that have similar sort of heritage. And that's why the link with the chiefs. I was going to say we, the boys have been having a look around, getting to feed various animals today and that but uh, the big message this year I suppose coming out of, of Paint and Zoo is your great gorillas project tell us a bit about that yeah I mean we you know we wanted to recognize and celebrate our, our 90th birthday but we wanted to do it in a way that you know reflected where we sit in the community that, that we're part of and we wanted to do something that could link with those you know, other organisations and to raise the profile not just of us but of the Bay generally and give everybody something that they could get their teeth into. So we came up with this project, the Great Gorillas Project, where you have these wonderful full-sized, life-sized you know, gorillas which can be painted and decorated and we put this out to local artists and we're looking for sponsors and we've got a lot of sponsors already but we, we'd love to have some more from local businesses and the creativity of some of the people, some of the artists, uh, for me is just mind-blowing, absolutely astonishing some of the designs that they've come up with. I was going to say, we've got some pretty big beasts in, uh, in terms of our players and they, they've come up against some heavyweights like the rhinos and uh, tall people, uh, tall animals like the giraffes. What's it been like having the Chiefs come around your facility? It, it's brilliant. I mean, they, are, they have been a lovely bunch of guys, actually. Very, very calm and measured and, you know, sensible and, and I hope they've enjoyed it. We've enjoyed having them here and I hope it gives them a perspective on something, you know, a bit different from their ordinary... You know, uh, they're out there training all day, and this is something very different from that. And it's, it's important work that we do here, you know, in, in conservation and education, and trying to inspire people about nature and the natural world. And if, you know, if people like the comparisons when you're in a huge prop like like some of your guys and and a gorilla, then that then that's brilliant. Uh, by the way, the gorilla would win every <laughs> single time. There's no question of that. Yeah. Obviously, uh, we've seen you up at the Chiefs yourself, mm. watching mm. games and that. But it's great seeing two organisations like ourselves and yourselves working together like this. It very much. So. So, and I, I think that's the way that you know, we're going to develop in, in the future partnerships between between us, between other organisations that have you know similar interests and similar desires. And and it's not just about money; it's about much much more important things than that. It's about you know what we can deliver to to the community that we live in and how we can work with each other to you know develop that to create jobs and to create. I don't know, a legacy, I suppose, for our futures. I was going to say, we've been talking uh, just today about the uh, local trade you have, and there's a lot of chief supporters out there that you'd hopefully come and come through your doors at uh, some stage during the next 12 months. Uh, absolutely, of course, it cuts both ways. You know, you get 10,000 people a day, uh, 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 every game up there, and, you know, on a busy day here, we can get five or 6,000 people. So, you know, it's um, there's an obvious overlap between, you know, uh, our interest and our markets, if you like. But, like I say, you know, it's got to be more than that. It's, it's about something much deeper. Thank you so Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>